Wait. Nah, that's right. No, wait. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's all right. This can only be about Maggie. I'm going to ask her to move in with me. I see. Well, first let me say you made a wise decision coming to me with this problem. It's not a problem. Well, let's see what I can do about it then. How would you want to be asked? To move in with a guy. Yeah. By having the guy say, will you marry me? Okay, well, let's just take that off the table for the moment. Look, you know if you're living together, it makes it harder to break up. That's the idea. You have to get cartons. Okay, you've been no help at all. Since I'm never going to see you again after Friday, I feel like I can tell you something. We'll see each other. Maybe not after what I'm going to say. You're not leaving. Mm. I don't know who told you that you're a bad guy, but somebody along the way, somebody or something convinced you of it because you think you're a bad guy and you're just not. I'm socially enough and even I know that. So because you're a bad guy, you try and do things you think a good guy would do, like committing to someone you like, but maybe don't love, a sweet, smart, wholesome Midwestern girl. I could be wrong. I almost always am. How are you single? A lot of men are intimidated by my intelligence. No, seriously. <laughs> because you never asked me out. Part off guard, didn't I? Yeah, it, you really did. Uh... But you're wrong. I'm, I'm gonna ask Maggie. Come well, that's what a good guy would do.